Yeah, I don't know why. Like, see, it's it's funny that you mentioned that of like literally all things too, because maybe not even two days ago, um, like while my girlfriend and I were having dinner, we looked up Tapper. What did we look up? No, we looked up. She was talking about something that she used to play in the arcades and stuff there. And it was something called Shock Troopers, I think, which was also Neo Geo. And then she wound up on like some totally random website. So she's like weird. So she was like reading it out to me as we were eating. And it said, based on, I guess, like known cabinets that were made of like the Shock Trooper game or whatever it was called. Uh, they basically like assigned a rarity <clears throat> where zero, what was it? It was like, it was either one was incredibly common and, no, sorry, a hundred was incredibly common and then the lower the score was based on cabinets that like people owned or sold or whatever, or that they knew existed. Uh, so like a hundred was high, so like Donkey Kong we looked it up was like 97, so there's like tons of Donkey Kong cabinets and stuff like that. So we looked up Windjammers, or I looked up Windjammers, so I was like, well, this is like one of my favorite games, and it was an arcade here a long time ago. And it was 51, so I was like, well that kind of makes sense, because a lot of people that I've always talked to, like, what's Windjammers? Like, <laughs> like, okay. But you still think, like, a lot of people maybe would have picked it up or had it on like, in a side pocket kind of situation. Because Evo, you know, had like a top 8 Windjammers tournament and stuff like that, and they used to stream it. And I think it gave a little bit of life to otherwise, like a totally niche game that like nobody ever pays attention to. <clears throat> but apparently not. The other thing too though is like Windjammers 2 came out, which is okay. I still prefer the original I think, but 2 is still okay. But maybe 2 took some of the player base out from 1 which often happens with sequels and stuff, but... Got me on Ninja Combat. I don't know what that one is. But yeah, same. I have Windjammers 2 on PC and it's like impossible to find a game to. Like you basically need to like match up against the buddy or something like that. At least, yeah, like now anyway. On launch again it was pretty decent, but like nobody plays in that. I have to look up Ninja Combat after, I have no idea what that is.
Oh, you jerk, dude. Okay. That was amazingly stupid. That was my fault for like shoving my nose into that toe. Show you my shitty Hebreke Zeta. Although I didn't learn anything properly yet, like Cat literally just showed me the route, so there's a lot of stuff that's missing. Be a good red planet, even though we're plus 11 right now. <laughs> that was probably the fastest climb I've had since I changed it. So. <clears throat> okay, apparently, the red planet that I had in this PV was really good too, or at least that was still a second and a bit faster. too far over, I think. I forgot that I technically set a PV, although I never submitted this one. It's 
So I don't actually know what these splits are like running against them. It's a bar This run is okay so far. And I'm probably gonna die on the next jump because I literally said that. I made those thoughts a reality. Uh, platform, please. Half a pixel of lucky. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <clears throat> Just gotta stand like half a pixel to the right, so and you won't get killed by the boulder to your left. There, I guess it's an asteroid. Shit, I should have practiced something before. If this run makes it to the end, I don't know what to do actually. Like a week ago, I started practicing uh, basically like a kill that was faster than Callum's hard mode time. <clears throat> but uh, I did not make that. Good. <laughs> like it's probably like one out of four I still die by accident. But there's like a really weird movement thing at the very beginning. The Toad Marshal, right at the very end. And yeah, this like Konami took the fire I think right from Gradius. I wouldn't be surprised if they took like other assets and stuff. But yeah, no, I completely changed like Callum's fight and how to do it. And I timed it. The fastest one I was able to do was like 8 seconds faster, I think, than Callum's fight. Or not 8 seconds, sorry. 8 seconds faster than the previous fight that I had done. <clears throat> So there's a pretty big save on top of that, but that was like not the one that I was able to do where I killed him like three or four cycles before.
There's like sub pixel or whatever shenanigans there that I can't control. That will kill me in uh, hard mode. You have two slugs on your head. So that last toad that I killed, <clears throat> there is a very small chance for if you're shooting with Deadeye, uh, you can actually miss that shot, and then you just walk into the toad instead and you die. And I always have like the on the back of my mind where it's like, is that actually a thing? Is that gonna happen on this run? <clears throat> get stuck there now. gonna shoot me. I gotta go. Woo! Okay, we're good. That's a scary pattern. This is also scary. He didn't spawn yet. 
Okay. Well, we almost jumped the Bucky. That was almost tragic. Good Magma. <laughs> what kind of split is that, man? Jesus. <clears throat> I must have died in Meg in the shitty PV that I had. So I have to remember where it's right here. After this one. No. Duck. Okay, thank you. That was almost scary. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how much that was gold by. I didn't see what my splits were before, like 24, I think it was like 2440 something, so. <clears throat> What's up, easy Welcome on in. Mr. Morton. Probably the most underused emote on Twitch. Possible boss on her loop. <clears throat> I don't think I would ever remove it. Like, I like Mr. Morton a lot. This is, I like, all of that Schoolhouse Rock, like, grammar stuff. I was a nerd into it back then, I still like it a lot. Dude, I got so lucky. We got so lucky. I, I adjusted like three lasers in. Like, I actually saw that I was missing the double damage and I adjusted like super late. But that was like last possible cycle. You could have probably done that. So I don't have a kill for this guy anymore. I can start it like Callum does. So Callum goes like this. And then I have to switch. Because otherwise I'm going to kill myself. 
the kill that I was working on is just not, I think, ready yet. Because you waste these two cycles here. Ah, oh, dude, that's so close! That one death mattered. We either snuck under third place, or I think it's like 2503 is Cypher. One sec, we need to check. That's really close. Thanks, Ireland. Angel Capizzi Bird, world famous Simzator. So what is second? That, that is so close, it's like a low 25. Second place is... We beat Cypher! Cypher is 2518, so that was good enough for third place. Garrison has 25.03 though, so we're one second off of Garrison. But dude, beating Cypher in anything is an accomplishment, like that guy is a god. This is crazy. <clears throat> this is the first time in six years that somebody beat a hard mode time. Because Callum's hard mode time is 7 years ago, Garrison's is 8 years ago, Cypher's is 8 years ago, and Dagron is 6 years ago. So I will happily take that. But, ah! Uh, <laughs> oh man, one second off, man. Come on. Yeah, like, nobody runs this category, because obviously hard mode is pretty difficult. Hard mode, if you're not like familiar, everything becomes one hit death. So the one death that I took in Blue Planet and decided to keep the run going uh, mattered. <laughs> it cost second place. But this is why I wanted to go to hard mode last because through warpless and normal, like we were we were running it pretty good. So I knew that hard mode was gonna catch up. Thanks, Hamster. Dude, Cypher is like... We're happy we got the Cypher bot. Because realistically, Cypher is ahead of Cat9 and Groove Troop with Blecky. He's ahead of us in Chippendale with Blecky. And then... He was ahead of me in hard mode Bucky, but we knocked off at least one of those. Uh, what's up, Yumishev? Thank you for that. I forgot, sorry, alerts are disabled still. But thank you very much for that raid, sir. Here, we can fix this. Thank you also for following Capizzi, I see that now too. Welcome on in. But I had alerts off from... Yes! <laughs> it's it's a decent one. It's third place. We'll take it. One second away from second place. Just one second. But these are going to be awful splits to run against. Because we legitimately had a very good red planet. Cell probably could have been better. That's not like a true goal. The magma is still really good though. We obviously made a mistake in salvage. We got that slug stuck on our head. But it had one death, and it was only in blue planet. So really my big time saves now are just green, blue, and then the slug room and salvage, and everything else is pretty good. <clears throat> See, it makes me wonder if I tied because I split at 
So it's possible that it was a 2503, but it was just a really late split. But still, we'll run it back. We'll, we'll get a true second place. But thank you for rating again. What were we up to today, Yamisha? Man, I always feel like deflated after. Yeah, thank you for your playing. <laughs> But no, I always feel deflated, like, how do you just do this again? It's so hard to run hard mode. How do you just, like, get back to it and run it better than you've ever run it before again? That's okay. I mean, we gotta try, right? 